Welcome to my channel Kamal Sidhu. In today's lecture session, we will discuss the concept of product life cycle in detail along with examples. So for easy and simple lecture sessions related to BBA, MBA, MCOM and BCOM, do subscribe to my channel Kamal Sidhu. Product life cycle is one of the important concept of marketing. We can define product life cycle as the length of time a product is introduced to the consumers into the market until it is removed from the market. The product passes through four stages that is introduction, growth, maturity and decline during product life cycle. Not all the products pass through these four stages. Some continue to grow and others fall at different stages. So we can say that product life cycle helps the marketers in forecasting, in product pricing, promotion and sales. The longer is the product life cycle, more successful is the product. The figure shows four stages of product life cycle. The first stage is the introduction in which the product is introduced into the market. At this stage, the sales are low and a lot of money spent on product promotion. So it is the expensive stage. Then with extensive promotion, the product tries to fight the competition at this introduction stage. Then second stage is the growth stage. So in this case, the sales start growing, which gradually increases the profit. So as the demand grows, the production also grows at this second stage. The third stage is the maturity, which is the most profitable stage. At this stage, the product becomes the market leader with large market share. The sales also increase, but at a decreasing rate. So and during this stage, the company starts looking for new markets. The decisions related to product modification or adding new features are also taken at this stage. Then finally comes the last stage, which is the declining stage. So it is the time when the sales gradually, gradually falls as new competitive products have entered the market which results in decreasing of market shares. So there is a rapid fall in product sales and eventually the company decides to discontinue the product to prevent further losses. So these are the four stages of product life cycle. Now let's discuss this concept of product life cycle by studying the example of Maruti 800. As we know that Maruti 800 was introduced into the Indian market in 1983. It was the cheapest car at that time in the market. But it took almost three years to clear the waiting list. Then after 1987, in order to meet the consumer expectations and sales, large scale production was carried out. The profits increased and there was no threat of any competition till 1997. After that, the Maruti 800 captured the maximum share in the Indian four-wheeler market. The reselling of old cars was also good, which resulted in high sale of Maruti spare parts. But eventually, around 2002, new companies like Tata, Ford and General Motors entered the Indian four-wheeler market to give a stiff competition to Maruti 800. Similarly, the taste of the people also started to change and demand for new cars with additional features started to grow. Maruti 800 also tried to fight the stiff competition by adding some new features to the existing models. But the competition was very intensive and so finally in 2014, manufacturing of Maruti 800 was stopped. So this was the decline of Maruti 800. The product life cycle enables the company to understand the current market position and what lies ahead. It enables the company to forecast the sales in an easier manner. It helps the company to understand when to expect high sales and revenue and when to expect strong competition. Then product life cycle, we can say it is an excellent tool which helps the business and the marketing managers in developing various marketing and sales strategies based on the performance in different stages the accurate marketing related decisions can be taken 
we can say that the sales data and the product performance assist in proper decision making. When the product reaches the maturity stage, the marketers can think of adding new features or uh, can think of, of uh, modifying the existing product. This will also prevent the product from moving towards the declining stage. Then through product life cycle, the companies can also compare the competitive product with their own product. Then it also helps in advertising and marketing as the spending is done according to the product stages in which stage the product is currently based. So the product life cycle we can say plays an important role in sales and marketing and other uh, business related decisions. Finally, these are some of the examples of products that eventually declined from the market.